This week's recipe demo is... Mochi ba mi. And today we're using a waffle iron. Stick around and find out why. Okay, so today we are making ba mi, a classic Vietnamese sandwich. Mm. And for the bread, we're going to be going gluten-free with a little bit of funkiness. We're going to be using mochi. If you're not familiar with mochi, it's a rice product that you can find in the refrigerator section of most health food stores. And this is the package that we got. Mm -hmm. This looks like... This is like a multi-grain version, it's a, which has... It's a hemp and flaxseed version, but you can use flaxies. any version. So that's the one we're using today. So I've got our waffle iron heated up right now. And before I turned it on, we don't have any like Pam or anything like that. We don't use stuff like that. Instead, we use coconut oil. Mm -hmm. So I just got a little bit on my hands. It just did it the old school. I, we, we ran out of paper towels too. Normally I use the paper towel, but today I got a little bit dirty. And I uh, just used my fingers. And then I just turned it on, so now it is preheated, and I'm gonna go ahead and get these babies in. So the mochi doesn't come cut. Peter just cut it up, cut it in four strips, so he's yeah. gonna use two per per the sandwich. Exactly. So cut it in half, and then cut it in half again, mm -hmm. widthwise. Yep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and put these in here. So he's putting them in lengthwise. But I guess, does it really matter? It doesn't really matter because it's all going to taste the same. But for presentation style, we're going we're going to try and do two pieces um, for each, I guess, waffling session. <laughs> that way we can make it look like deli style. Alright, so now here comes the hard part. You're going to want to close it down and you're going to have to hold it. To press it closed for a little bit. Don't mind Peter's head right in my face. I know, I know. Um, so you've got those in there and you kind of press it down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It starts to sizzle. One, one quick note that I want to throw in is try and leave it out for like a half hour or an hour because the softer it is, the easier it is to, to warm up and melt and form into the waffle. Mm -hmm. Mochi is really sticky and puffy when you bake it, so when you put it in here, you're going to want to squish it down because it's going to want to puff up and be hard. Um, I'm, I, wow, we're, we're really getting into this, are we? So I'm using, too much. I'm using a little bit of force, kind of squishing it down because you do have to use some force. Mm -hmm. um, but be careful, I have broken this waffle iron before. And it doesn't really have a strong handle. Yeah. Um, if you if you have like a, a Belgian waffle maker, usually they have strong handles, and so you can just squeeze down on it. Okay, Pete, put that okay. guy down. Okay. I'm gonna move on. Okay, we're moving on. So that's the bread of the bomb meat, right? So um, we're gonna need we're gonna do a tofu version. I've seen chicken and pork versions, but um, we're gonna keep it plant based. So we already have the tofu all cooked up and this is the same way we make the tofu for all of our recipes. I think we've done a video on it so if you look at past videos you'll probably find the tofu. Um, but we did the same style, we just broiled it with a little tamari but we just cut them in slabs so they'll fit on the sandwich. Really easy and if you um, look at your recipe PDF it'll outline all of it. And then for um, the sauce on the sandwich, usually they have uh, mayonnaise. And so, because we don't use mayonnaise, we don't use dairy, we did um, a avocado mayo. So it kind of looks like guacamole, but it's actually um, mashed avocado, and then you can use some lemon juice, or if you don't have lemon, you can use apple cider vinegar, and it neutralizes the flavor. So you just kind of get this like creaminess, and it's similar to mayonnaise because it still has the fat, but it's a healthy fat. So it gives it that <clears throat> element of savoriness. Yeah, and I did throw a little sriracha. We like this this brand. It's um, Organicville, and it just has like no weird dyes or colors in it. It does have a little bit of sugar, one gram per teaspoon. So, but some of the most basic ingredients you can find for sriracha. Definitely. So, so I put a little of that in the mayo. 
um, the avocado mayo, but not a lot because Bami also has a bunch of fresh vegetables, one of them being jalapeno, and you don't want it too spicy. Um, mm -hmm. You could leave the jalapeno off, but traditionally, they have them. Um, we also have carrots, cilantro, tomato, onion, and we're going to do some spinach. You don't have to do spinach, but you can. Um, <clears throat> oh, and we're going to do some mint for a little flair. Okay, so we're going to let this continue cooking, and we'll let you know when it's ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we are done here. So, looks like we are nice and crispy. You, you're, you guys are going to want to check it though because um, yeah. every waffle iron kind of varies and so um, ours is done but yours might need a little bit longer. What would you say how long until they should check it, Peter? I would say, I would say like three minutes start checking it. It might be a little bit softer on the edges, and that's that's totally normal. All right, are you pulling it out? Pulling it out. All right. All and right. So it totally looks like a waffle. So the two pieces form together, and yes, it looks just like a waffle. And so you could make a waffle out of it, and you could top it, and we've done mm -hmm. that with the apple mochi waffles, but we're gonna do something a little savory with the bami. So I'm just breaking it into two pieces here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have the piece for the bottom, bottom. Like, that. like that, and then the other one like is going to be like that, that. Thanks, Pete. and then we're going to squish it down. Okay, but first we're going to okay. make the sandwich. <laughs> but first we need to make the sandwich. Alright, so walk them through what I'm doing. Okay, so it looks like we're doing some avocado, the avocado, the avocado mayo. sauce, oh avocado mayo. Okay. Spread some of that love on there. A couple leaves of bright green spinach. Some freshly, thinly sliced tomato. And then, you didn't say this, did you? We, yes, so just some onion. Whatever kind of onion you have. It could be green onion, it could be red onion, it could be yellow onion. And then what about this? And then we have shredded carrot. And then we have some cilantro. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit of spice, some fresh spice. And then... And here comes Sarah's flair. She's been on a mint kick all week. Busted. You're very observant. Okay. And then finally... Wait! Can't forget is... the jalapenos. Keep them out of your eyes because yeah. they're spicy. Ooh! It's a big one. Yeah. And then two pieces of the tofu. You guys see how beautiful it is? Yummy. So this looks great. You're gonna have to <clears throat> put the lid on. Oh, and beautiful! Smash oh, it down. wow. You might want to cut it. This one might end up in your lap. Just saying. Can you guys see that? So there's a couple reasons why you should make this recipe tonight. First one. Is it's gluten free, mm. which is very rare for this type of sandwich. True. And there's so many fresh vegetables. Oh. <laughs> and well, you get to use your waffle maker or your waffle iron. And let's, you know, most of the time it's just for waffles, so it's nice to be able to use it for something else. Get that dust off. <laughs> Alright, guys, so go make this recipe. You won't regret it.